you got there, mate? Yeah, first fish of the day. Oh, a little jew. Was that the first cast? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Brandon. I have not been on the beach in six weeks. I've been crook as a dog. I'll go into that a little bit later. But I'm stinging for a fish. I'm stinging to catch a jew fish. So. That's looking really good, man. The sun is bright in the sky and it's hot. Jewfish first cast. I'd say I'm gonna get a few Jew tonight. Oh yeah. Sure. All right, get him back. Get a fish, Brandon. This is not fair, Brandon. I'm setting up all my rods. And mate, you've already got two dew on me. Not too much bigger. Man, that's your second dew for the day, Brandon. Yeah. This is not fair, mate. How I'm long has it been? Mate, like it's like 20 minutes, yeah, 20 two dew. I'm <laughs> setting all my gear up and Brandon's just going belt, belt, belt and dew. Yeah. He's got two fish on me already. Oh, you just wait till I get my gear out, mate. There's a meter plus coming. Yeah, get it out there. Get it in, get him back. Welcome to another episode of Ozfish. Baby. Does it feel like it has some size to it? Not too bad. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Now yeah, it's really, really windy today, so the audio is probably not going to be that good, but uh, blowing a gale from the northwest, but um, don't seem to affect the fish. Back of that 
rocks everywhere, look. It's been hit before. Let's put him down. Careful. Watch out. So yeah, man. Really nice, like, um, jewfish out of the surf. Probably close to a metre, I'd say, you know. But uh, what's interesting about this fish is he's been caught before and busted off. The guys have gone too hard on him. So there's my hook. There's my rig. And look. Oh, he's got a set of gangs in him. And there's another rig. Okay, yeah, that fish has gone a metre on the brag mat. Okay, let's get him back. Yeah, baby, beautiful fish. Metre due. Oh yeah, on the hide and the big squid. Right in the middle of the day. Yeah. Let's give a quick release. Yeah, you want to just give him a bit of a swim? that Jew, somebody else had hit that Jew, by the look of it, had been used to squid, only a day or two old, and hit him in the flank, and uh, busted him straight off, but uh, anyway, I got lucky, hit him straight in the mouth, so, uh, awesome. What do you got there, Brandon, nice whitey? Yeah, yeah, during all the chaos of you catching that one, I guess this one hooked up and I didn't even notice. It's on that big old rod, so yeah, barely yeah. even made a dent in it. I, I think we, should feature the, that rod later in this episode. Not a bad one. Be a good session that's for you. Look, just pop straight out. Oh. <laughs> the fish? Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that's due number five for the day, man. We're racking them up quick. If we I mean, keep going like this, we'll have 25 due. Yeah, some of those squid strips from you. Oh, you're putting whole squid out. Really hard left. Yeah.
and fish and get him back. Another good G man. 90 off the beach. Oh, a bit puff. Yeah, I got a big squid again. So uh, yeah, let's get this fish back while he's really fresh. So uh, how many G was that? Oh, did we get six? six? Six, I think, yeah. All right, let's get him back. Another whiting. He's not too bad either. Yeah, you wouldn't expect to catch him on these big hooks. <coughs> yeah. That's a nice fish. Pretty good sized fish, yeah. Yeah. Brandon was out uh, worming last night on one of the city beaches, and um, he has a few worms around last night. So how big is that one? Stretch him out full length. Oh uh, yeah. Right, four, four foot. Yeah, that's a nice worm, man. Four foot long. That's an awesome like bait for jewfish. But I'll tell you what the uh, big Jew love, whole squid, don't they? Yeah. So I said I'm going to have to steal some of you. <laughs> Brandon, to all them Ozfish viewers out there, Brandon's rig does my head in every time I go fishing with him. Okay, let's go through your rod first, mate. What is it? It's a uh, Samaki thing, sir. 12 foot surf rod, 20 to 40 pound. So. 20 to 40 pound. Heavy duty. So it's 10 to 20 kilo rod. Yeah. Okay, what size reel have you got on it? 8500 slammer. Which... And what's the 8500 slammer filled with? Uh, 60 pound braid. And what have you got coming off the top of that 60 pound braid? 80 pound flora. Show it to me. Actually, I've got 80 pound top shot, but then the rig itself is 30 pounds. But... So you've got 80 pound top shot, yeah. and the rig you've made up is with 30 pound. Yeah, normally with, I with, run a heavier rig, but... With four O circle hooks. Yeah, and then on three way grapple sinker. And look at that ugly looking grapple sinker, man. <laughs> on a pissy, look at the snap clip he's got. That is gonna pull out, open up. It, it's worked so far. And what do you catch on that outfit, Brandon? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything from fish that big, to fish I can barely hold. Yeah. I cannot. I cannot get my head around that outfit. That's ridiculous. But really, seriously. Look at these huge, <coughs> massive uh, yeah. three-way swivels. Yeah. yeah. But really, seriously, what it goes to show you is, is that it is a really fascinating point here that, like, a lot of people say in the surf that the lighter you go, the more fish you catch, and you know, the lighter you trace, and all that sort of stuff like that. But in reality, all of that is really just—it's just a myth, really, because. I mean, have a look at that outfit. I mean, why do you use an outfit like that, Brandon? Tell me. Uh, so when I first moved to Australia a couple of years ago, I was fishing over on Nobby's Beach because I lived over that way. And uh, I was getting small. I, you know, I had like a 6,000 reel. I had a pretty good beach setup. Like, you know, I went into the, the fishing shop and they told me, <coughs> this is what you need for the beach. So I went out, I was getting spooled back to back. Every time I went out, I was getting spooled. And I, you know, I got fed up with it, went out and I just, the biggest thing that I could. And so in other words, Brandon, you took the nuclear option. Yeah. That's the nuclear option. And I figured out what was spoiling me. Freaking rays this big and giant uh, bronze whaler. Yeah, so. yeah. And would you characterize yourself, Brandon, as, some, as a stubborn person? Incredibly. Because I would characterize you as incredibly, how, how long have I been trying to tell you to lighten up? Yeah, pretty much since you first met me. <laughs> and have you lightened up? Are you still catching fish? Yeah. It just goes to show, Brandon, that I know nothing. Uh, you taught me a lot. <laughs> when Brandon and I fished on the beach, we only ever used pattern ostrich. It's not like we've got hooks on top of the These are like uh, 4 o BKKs. It's not like we've got the big squid out on the uh, 6 and 7, 7 o J hook BKKs. But I'm just going to uh, put some uh, small squid strips out on the uh, 4 o's and uh, see what happens. Already tied for our record.
a pretty good size. with our record now. It's just hit a good fish as well. And I've got this dude just laying here at the edge of the surf. I'll get back there. Yeah, it's a nice fish. That's a meter four. Brandon's on way down the beach. Let's get this one back. Go, 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 go. Yeah, walk back with him, he's gonna go back. Walk down. This one. Oh, no, nah. walk down. Just relax, mate, just relax. Might be yeah, just relax with him. Not this way, the next one. On this wave here coming. 
Not this one, no, 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 this one, this one. This one, this one. That's it. Oh shit, Brandon. The world's unlucky stew on that right-handed rail. <laughs> That's a good fish, man. That's a really good fish. I didn't realise you're on my rod. Yeah. And the drag's light on it. You got to use your hand. What's it going, mate? Uh, meter five. He's broken. Let's get him back. Meter five, man. You know, that's fourth big fish of the day. Get him back. That's it. Oh, he's, he's lively. He kicked off from me there. Yeah, he went get, the wrong way though, bud. Yeah, get him out. Hang on to him a bit. Give him a swim. Backwards and forwards. That's it. Wants to go? Wants to go? Yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone, bro. Right. <laughs> on my rod! <laughs> now you're on a red hot jeepy session. This rod got slammed by a fish. And we're just waiting up, mate. Swapping over to a big squid and another rod. Red, so that rod's on its like. No, that ain't just left. Let's throw this squid out and see if we've still got it. So let's see if we've still got it. <laughs> oh, I've still got it. <laughs> Hey, John. It's another Jew to add to the tally, mate. Grab that rod, bro. Grab your rod. Yeah. Drop that fish. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Grab that one. Jay, I'll keep him, hit him. Is there? Yeah. Another smaller Jew, Brandon. Just watch those Jay Oaks, mate. They're not circle looks spray using now, mate. 50 or 60? Yeah, mate. About a 50, I reckon, mate. That's about... I can't even remember how many Jew we've caught. Get that one back! It's going to be a 3, 12 and 15 over there.
contact man. Great fit, great shot. Beautiful, you know, like uh, beach dew fish, you know, right on sunset, you know, like so. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Getting back. All right, well, that's a uh, wrap for Ozfish today from Brandon and I. That was an absolutely awesome uh, session on the beach. Like, Brandon and I caught five big dew, ranging between the 90s up to just over a meter, and we probably caught about 20 dew all up, all different sizes. So it's been a fantastic session. We've just about, we've just run out of bait. So we've got four rods out, and if one of them rods goes off, Brandon's younger than me, and he'll be running to get that rod. So that's his job. So it's great to be out on the beach, because uh, like I've been crook as a dog for six weeks, and um, I have not been able to fish for about six weeks or do an episode for YouTube. Um, I'm a musician, so I've had to just sort of play through this illness, which has been really brutal. Um, Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm on the mend now and it's great to be out fishing and today was an absolutely awesome session on the beach. Today Brandon and I were using what we always use. Brandon caught some uh, awesome worms last night and we're using live uh, fresh big king worms and we're using um, arrow squid or oligo squid that uh, we caught Lake Macquarie that we frozen. And today the, uh, the jewel, big jewel were really on that, on, that, on that bigger squid. Every time you throw a big squid out, you know, like you'd hit a jew. So uh, yeah, fantastic session. Until next time, this is uh, Dave and Brandon, Ozfish, signing off. And always remember, let's get some.